We know that genetic variation explains 60 to 80% of height variability. We know that women with a mutation in BRCA1 and BRCA2 have an 85% lifetime risk of breast cancer compared to 12% in the general population. And we know that with just $100 and a tube of spit, we can identify your racial and ethnic background. But yet, all humans are 99.9% .9 identical. Join us at the Summer Institutes of Statistical Genetics, Module 10, Genetic Epidemiology, to learn how to conduct and interpret simple genetic association analyses, to learn how to interpret common plots used to present genetic epidemiology results and to describe their rationale, to learn about population genetic patterns and how to account for them in genetic epidemiology studies, to learn best practices for reproducible genetic epidemiology research, and to learn the ethical and public policy implications of genetic epidemiology results. As the cost of sequencing and gathering genetic data plummets, there's going to be more and more genetic information available. And what we want to do is help you understand how to use that genetic variation to help explain variability in human outcomes. Your instructors will be Allison Fauner, who is an assistant professor of epidemiology at the University of Washington. Her research focuses on integrating genomics and electronic health record data to understand variability in medication response. And your other instructor will be Sarah Lindstrom, Assistant Professor of Epidemiology, also at the University of Washington. She focuses on understanding the genetic contribution to common genetic diseases with a primary emphasis on cancer and linked traits. We look forward to seeing you this summer.